Good morning, welcome to Regenerate Don't Degenerate with Rinda and Jim. We're going to be doing some exercises today, a little bit of adjustment on what we've done on the Monday exercises before. But these are going to be good, you're going to like them, you're going to feel much better, you're going to get stronger. And you can do them with yourself, not a partner. With yourself, and the only thing you're going to need today is the flex band and some weights. So. Let's go ahead and get started, but before we do, you've warmed up, right? You're nice and warm, you're ready to go. I hope so. Get yourself hydrated if you haven't been. We're gonna start off with some ankle extensions and flexions. So I suggest you find a way, I'm gonna lean up against the wall to keep myself steady. I'm gonna put this under my toes, and then I'm gonna push, I'm holding my leg out, push my toe down, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna switch legs now. Go to the other leg. We'll do some some flexions over here. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. How are we doing? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now this next move is going to be a little bit challenging to do. It's not impossible. What we're going to do is step on it about like that. Put the other foot on it. You're going to want to prop yourself up. Then you pick this leg up, have your toe tip down and exit back to you. Okay. Let's, are we ready to try that? Okay, here we go. One. Ooh, that's hard. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. That is challenging at best, right? Yeah. Okay, get a little bit better look at our feet down here, okay? And then I'll move the camera back. So I lay it on the ground, I fold this over it, I step on it with the other foot so it's being held down, I pick it up. Let me get it back up on my toe. Toe down one. And you're pulling it up two, towards your three. I'm not pulling it with my knee, I'm just pulling it with my ankle. Four. Five. We catch it under that. Six. Slipping off on me. Seven. Eight. eight nine. nine ten. Woo! That's a little challenging, that right? Is. But it's a good exercise. Now, if, if you have a machine or something where those can be in place for you, um, you know, so much the better. Uh, then, then it's just a, you can do it laying down and, you know, being laying down and pulling it back to you like that. I don't have the machine. I was showing you how you could adapt it. Next, you're going to need your weights, though. We're going to be doing some body weight squats. You can probably do it with the heavy ones this time, Randy girl. I don't want to put this in my pocket. Okay, these are the, the, the body weight squats that we've done before. So we're going to have our feet about shoulder width apart. As we squat down, we stuck our little rumpus out and we're gonna be going forward. This is the form that we're using, something like this. Okay, we ready? Begin. One, two, three. Go down just as far as you can, not further for the hurting of your knees. Five, six, seven, Eight, nine, and ten. How do we do with that? We feeling good about that? We're going to be right back. She's got to take care of one little thing. We're going to be doing some uh, standing calf raises. And this is really two different movements. We're going to do a two foot and a one foot. I suggest you get yourself a wall to lean into and then we're going to raise up on our calves. We're going to do 10 of these. Four and five. 
I got my back to you, huh? Six and seven and eight and nine and ten. Now a little bit of change to this. Pick up your left foot up on your right toe. Okay, one, two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. If you didn't make it all the way to ten, that's fine. Just pick up that right leg. Mine's burning a little bit. One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Now all of us get to rest. Rinda's gonna put her other foot down. She's gonna do ten on the other leg, and we're gonna get to rest while she does that. Uh, we might let her get by with doing a few less, but uh, yeah, you are. So now do both legs. I have a twinge in my ankle. Really? Yep. So you're doing things you're not used to. Well, you know this is interesting. She's in great shape. She walks a fair amount. She does. She's but very. But he has me doing exercises she, that don't do certain parts of my body. So when I do them, my body goes woo woo. So your body may be doing that too. And it, it, it probably is. But what I want to point out to you, be careful, don't hurt yourself. But also, even if you are active and you find yourself feeling some things and as we're doing some of these exercises, what you're doing is you're activating muscles you normally don't activate, but you need them. There are going to be times when you need them. If they're weak, then it affects the rest of your so, body and so it can affect your the, balance. So do four. And then the next right. time do five. You want to build up. You need all of your muscles, not just the ones you always use. The ones that you need the most are the ones you don't use very much because when you need them and they're not ready, they're going to they're gonna let you down. And you don't want to be let down. You want to be ready to go. Okay, where's my, where's my stretchy band? We're going to need it again. We're going to do some sidestep abduction. abduction. Get that weight out of the way. I'm going to need the space here. These are going to try to be in my way. Okay. So we're going to step down on this stretchy band. And I'm going to step to the side. One, two. Now I'm going to go the other way. One, two, three, four. Five, six, I'm gonna have to re. I'm stepping out of it. Seven, eight, nine, ten. And let me go back the other way now. I'm gonna do it without the band because I'm gonna show you just if you have any trouble with your feet. Two. And I'm keeping my three, leg really straight and tight. Four, five, six, Seven. We already did two on this other way. Eight. And, and what I was doing was I was keeping my legs very rigid and moving, so they're really tight. But with that, well, she, she she she's making a good point. You need to be able to at least do the movement. If having the the extra resistance is too much for you, then just doing a movement may be enough for you to get and, started. Because this is not this is not a normal movement but at I didn't all. I did do a sloppy movement. I didn't just go like this. Right. You know, I kept my legs really taut, tight. Good posture. That's part of it as well. Work your way up to where you can use the bands. You know, we're, we're, we're not about doing anything that's going to cause us some problems going forward. Next, we're going to do what's called the first step of the warrior. So uh, we're, we're going to go out into this and then back up and then other leg. So it's something like a lunge, but it's the first movement of the warrior, okay? So there's two on that side, one and three, four and five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now you're thinking, well, Jim, that, that looks like a lunge. Yeah, it does. It's kind of some of the same movements. But the warrior actually is going to take us to do some more movement to where we're going to engage our hips a bit more and uh, our, our waist. We'll be bending with it. But we want to work up to it. We're not getting there all at once. We're in the beginner stages. We're going to build ourselves up to where we can do a better job of doing the warrior. But it's a great, great movement. So we've done four, five, one, two, three, five, where we're standing up. Now we're going to get down first on our all fours and then uh, So the next five are on the ground. The next ground. five are we're on the ground in one form or another. Okay. We're going to share this. We're going to share this. So uh, this has a couple different names. We're going to call it the fire hydrant. So we're down on all fours. We're going to pick our leg up and out as far as, as well as we can. We don't, uh, we're, we're going to do 10 of those and we'll switch and do the other side. So we just go, now we're, we're keeping ourselves properly aligned here. He's got his hands in a fist. I always have my palms out for stability. Right. <laughs> it can go either way. So we ready? It's going to be a count of two. One, two. It's going to be one. So up is one, two, 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 three, two. Four, two, five, two, six, two, seven, two, eight, two, nine, two, ten, two. Are we ready for that other side? Are we ready? Yep. Okay, here we go. One, two, 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 three, two, four, two, five, two, six, Two, seven, two, eight, two, nine, two, ten, two. Now, how was that? That's got to make, make made us feel good, right? And this is my adaptation. Foot out. One, two, three. That, that's where you really get. You know, you're showing off. That's I'm not showing off. I may not even be in the screen. <laughs> Okay, this next one, we can do it laying down. We can do it as we're up on all fours. Today, we're going to do it on all fours. Got plenty of room here. This is the contralateral limb raise, which means we're going to pick up our right hand and left foot, put them back down, pick up our left hand and right foot. That'll be one. We're going to do 10 of those, okay? Here we go. One and two and two and three and three and four and four and five and five and six and six and seven and seven and eight and eight and nine and nine and ten and ten. So how are we feeling? Let's get a little bit of a breather. Let that air catch back up with you, okay? Keep in mind, if you can't do them to the extent that I'm doing, that's fine. Do what you can do. If you can't do 10, do what you can do. If you need to take a longer breather bef between them, pause, catch up with us a little bit later. That's fine. Pause the video if you need to catch your breath. Whatever you need to do, make this work for you. This needs to be enjoyable and I can promise you this, you stick with it, you stay consistent, eventually you're going to look forward to the exercise time and not say, oh no, I've got to go exercise. It's going to be, is it time to exercise yet? That's where you want to be and you'll get there when you start feeling good about it and you do it consistently and your body catches up with you. Okay, next we're going to be doing a, a bent knee hip flexor. So we're down like this. We're going to be picking our leg up like that. Okay. We're going to do 10 of those on one side, then 10 on the other. Okay. One and two and three 
and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten. Other leg. One and two and three and four and five and six seven and eight and nine and ten. Let it down. Let's let ourselves rest just a little bit again. You know the rest in between is, is a great thing. It's not a bad thing to rest. It's an important part of what we're doing. We want to be able to get through all of these and, and do them well. Uh, keep in mind, you know, this is all about you. This is getting, getting you to feel better and better about what you're doing. Like I say, keep at it. Let your friends know what you're doing so they can understand what's happening to you while you're, you're starting to look and why glow you're healthier. So amazing. So now we're going to do a sideline uh, hip abduction and then adduction. So it's, it's actually two exercises. A, B, and A, D. A, so, D is when you're adding to the body. A, B is when you're going away from the body. So you'll, you'll see the difference in, in what we're doing. So I'm going to start here. I guess I'm going to go this way. So you're going to get down on, on a side. We're going to do first the adduction and then the abduction for this side. So we're lying on our side. Can we see me okay, cameraman? There we go. Camera girl got up there and she, she got us straight. So we're, we're lying on our side. We've got good posture. We're going to pick our leg up. Go as high as you can, okay? Two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten. You just thought these were leg lifts. You've always called them leg lifts. He has fancy names. <laughs> okay, now we're going to put this foot over here. The, the top foot is kind of over to the side and out of the way. And we're going to take the bottom foot and raise it up as far as it can go. Okay, we ready? One, and two, and three, and four, and five, and six, and seven, and eight, and nine, and ten. Just let it down. We're going to switch sides. You can just roll over if you want. I'm going to spin around so I can keep my eye on you. i got to watch you while you're doing this, okay? We're on the side. We've got good posture. We can hold our head up a little bit. We ready to go with that foot? Okay, let's go. One. You got her ahead of me, didn't you, Rinda? <laughs> Two. And three. And four. And five. Six. And seven and eight and nine and ten let's put that foot out there bottom foot we're going to be adding now instead of adding one and two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten. Okay, so just leave your body right there. I am going to leave my body. Leave your body where it was with your leg out there. So see the way he's got his way down and I have mine pulled up. This is just the way I've always done it and if you can do it this way it does pull up your leg higher. He's, he's got kind of a lazy leg there instead of a tighter leg. Either way is fine which is you know I would switch like every other week do it a different way. Uh, you get a different muscle and interaction. If you've got a, a hip that doesn't want to do it, then definitely keep it like his, down low. Okay, let's come up on our, our elbow. Last one, ladies and gentlemen. This is the last one, everyone. So let's go up on our elbow, and then we're going to pick ourselves up onto our feet. This is a plank. We're going to hold it here for a little bit. This isn't a stretch. This is a, very much an exercise. Do you feel that? If you can't do it for as long as we're doing it, go ahead and pause yourself out. That's not a problem. He has had a few his, more seconds. Uh, okay, I'm done. <laughs> okay, down we go. What were you going to say? You have your hand up. I have my hand down for weight. Um, yes. Control. 
If you need to balance, have that hand out there. That's not a problem. Okay, we're on the other side. Are we ready to go? Ready? Up! Okay, let's see if we can hold this one for the duration like we need to. Like I say, if you get to the end of what you can do, let yourself down, there's no harm. Do as much as you can. Hold on to it as best as you can. Do what you can. Don't hurt yourself. Make yourself feel good. Make yourself proud. Looks like Rinda has I'm decided proud. to... She, she's proud. Okay, a couple more seconds. Okay, let it down. Give yourself a big hand. This has been a good workout for you today. I'm proud of you. This, this is some great stuff. So we, we want to do a little bit of stretching while we're here. So we're doing a bit of a cool down. So we're setting. We have our posture upright. Put your legs out as far as they can. And let's just kind of lean over a little bit to get we've been working these legs let's go ahead and let's stretch them a bit okay get them stretched out what's that she she's complaining about her ankle i i hope none of you have twinged yourself okay let's bring that back up let's stretch over to the other one remember we're doing some cool down letting our ourselves catch our breath but keep these muscles getting stretched a bit and that's important. I mean, when, when we're warm, that's the time to stretch them. It helps to get them ready for next time. And that's important. Okay, let's let that go. Now let's take our toes and let's point them as far out as we can point them. And let's keep them stretched out there because we worked those ankle muscles today a little bit. So we, we definitely want to get them stretching out for us. Okay, let's pull them back. Pull those toes into you as far as you can pull them. Get them pulled in there. Got to pull them as tight as you can pull them. Pull them in tight. Okay, let's let those go. We're going to go onto our backs now. And we're going we're gonna to pull these legs into us tight. Pull them in tight. I know that's getting your core some, but it's also getting your legs to, to relax some. Okay, so let's put one out. Let's just pull the other one in tight. Hold it tight. Just a little bit more on that. Just keep holding it. Just let that one go down and bring the other one back up. Pull it in tight. Getting those muscles in those legs. Stretching just a bit. Got to get them stretched. And I'm not going to make you stand up to do any from up there, but let's, let's take ourselves down into the child pose. This is my favorite for taking ourselves to full relaxation. So we're squatting down. If you've got to put a pillow or a towel in behind your legs to prop yourself up, that's fine. But get down and relax. Just relax. Keep that breathing going. Letting things stretch out. Letting your body relax. Just This is not a tense time. This is a relaxed time. So keep breathing. Keep holding that in there. Keep relaxing. I want to come and, and just thank you all for watching today and being part of this. And let you know that I appreciate your your comments and I appreciate you being part of this it it helps me know that hey I'm doing some good as I see people that are participating and taking advantage of really it's a great opportunity to have someone come right into your home and exercise with you and encourage you to to get in shape now invite your friends over if you need to invite them to be part of this as well doing this Monday through Friday you've got some exercises every day during the week to get you in shape, get you feeling great. We're here to regenerate so that we don't degenerate. We want to sustainably live in place and being in shape is a big, big part of that. So join in, get your friends to join in, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.